All right, hey, what's going on, people of YouTube? This is Masculinish, and welcome back to Season 2 of The Walking Dead. This is Episode 3, and when we left off, Episode 3, Part 2 of my series. And when we left off, we got to the quote-unquote prison, as Clementine calls it. Um, Reggie got killed because uh, Carver threw him off a roof, and... Uh, Bonnie, I think her name is, doesn't believe that uh, Carver did that. So uh, I think they're fucking. And uh, yeah, so anyway, now we're in the middle of a zombie battle scene, which is uh, about to take place. So let's get into this. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. So let's get in back into this. Okay, I gotta stay focused now because, yeah, there we go. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Wait, shit! Fuck! Wait, I got it! <laughs> Hold left. Hold left. Go. Go, 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 go. 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 Yeah, you got it. Really? Really? Fucking bullshit is this? Ah, I hate these things. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> That wasn't very dramatic, to be honest. Pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, uh, it, it, yeah, go up the ladder. Fuck it. The fuck was the point of that? <laughs> Wait. Really? Really? Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, it's, it's not. This this trigger, it's it's this it's this trigger that you gotta push down on. I I fucked up, I fucked up pretty bad. Yeah, I fucked up. So let's uh, try that again, and hopefully I don't fuck that up again. Ah, these loading screens drive me crazy. Okay, fuck it. Just pick up the fucking just, yeah. Just pick up that and beat the shit out of these things over here. Come on now. Okay, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ready, got a scoochie, scoochie, scooch, scoochie, scooch. What am I doing? Pick up that thing. There you go. Uh, so heavy. So heavy. Uh, oh shit! <sighs> Alright, good. Who is that now? What the? Hey, look, it's Dale. <laughs> Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. I got a feeling that guy's gonna die. He's gonna die a painful oh, death. God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now. Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip. Going power crazy right there. That was power crazy. Alright, so let's get this shit going. So yeah, how you guys doing? I'm doing great. Hope you guys enjoyed that last uh, part there. Who the fuck is this now? Ah, ah, stop. Hey, it's me. Luke. Yes. I knew he was coming back. Get the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. I was worried. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. Well, it's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but, well, we're in it now. That's what a we whole got. herd of walkers. We just, we 
just need a plan. No way to get you. Need more than a plan. Everyone. Luke. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shit. Okay, Tron ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem. I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Cause I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Uh-oh. Go on. Get out of here. Uh-oh. The hell were you doing? Huh? Answer me. I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. Something's going down. Something's going down. Something's going down. Something's going down. <laughs> oh, man. It's glad to see Luke is back, though. It's pretty fucking cool. I just wonder what their foolproof plan is of getting out of here before the uh, Horde of Walkers show up. Personally, I kind of hope they actually do show up and wreck up the place. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. <laughs> There's the hippie of the group. <laughs> if you don't know what hippie stands for, they are uh, people who are uh, calm, cool, and collected. She's uh. a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. So it is his kid, then. <laughs> for some reason, I just thought it was, like, Alvin. bullshit for some reason. Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. You're a bully. Come again. You're just a bully. I know it wasn't a fair fight. Yeah, I suppose it wasn't, but life ain't fair most of the time. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now. I don't even can't remember who that is. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was mean. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You're a murderer. You can try and call it something else, but I know what it is. Murderer. What it really is. Listen, Clementine, it ain't murder. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Do you understand? Well, I wish it was people like I us, do, but they are weak and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I know it when I see it, and we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted Bitch, you long crazy. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. 
That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. I'll help you. Whatever you need. I know I'm just a kid, but I'll do my best. Get him under my fingertips. Well, that's all I can ask. All right, now. Well, you there? This is getting interesting. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of me. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. I'm gonna get me one of them walkie talkies. Cause we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you wanna ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw him to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. Yeah, if you know what she means. It's mighty loud, though. You know what I mean, don't you? Y'all know what I mean. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the turd. herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the I got the yawnies. No it doesn't mean you're tired. It means that your brain has a lack, lack of energy. Energy. Wait, First what did she just say? You say and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. I can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? <laughs> it's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got we get getting out of here. You. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? We 
just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. <laughs> Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at her. Don't push her, Kelly. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, Jed. Up and at him. I got you. Hey, I got it. <laughs> I was like slightly to the other side and I still got it. Yes. And ding, 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 ding. Some kind of weird noise. No? Okay. Come on, faster. Work those arms. Hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. <laughs> they see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Eh, eh. That's a lot of walkers. That was a lot of fucking walkers. It's going to be sweet to see what they do. The plan is pretty sweet. Grab walkie-talkie, give it to Luke, and then signal for the walkers to come take over the place. Seems like a pretty flawless plan, and then cover yourself in walker goo. All right, Clementine, we got this. Uh, oh, Burp City. Oh, great. Please don't tell me it's like a stealth mission or something. Oh, God. Pfft. The fuck was the point of coming to the door then? They won't. The fuck am I doing? Just fucking creeping around and shit. There's Gulliver, aka Bill. Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so, obviously there's some sort of thing that we are supposed to do. Can I go this way? No, no, okay, apparently I'm just walking around here like an idiot. Can't go in there. Is that something about a skylight? Because that's not creepy. How does the fucking guy not know that I'm here? Okay, let's go this way and see what's over here. Since this is the only way, we haven't gone. One of these things. Oh, over there. Perfect. Oh, shit. I forgot I can run. Let's fucking open it. It's the only place we can go. We got down around here. There's the walkie talkies. All right, now we're in business. Bill wasn't gonna let him in. You think we're ready? I think so. I hope so, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. I figured we'd be used to it by now. Gotta be very quiet. You never got 
got used to a light buggy or anything? It's a little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when he brought the prisoner, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now, and I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. Oh, God. I don't know about you, but it seems like you really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait until we need more space to make more space? What the fuck know. is going on? Kind of Oh shit. <laughs> I thought you were only supposed to take one. She takes two. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. What are you thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. <laughs> Vince. Vince, come on. Vince. I'm telling. <laughs> oh, man. Some crazy shit is about to go down. And I can't wait. Psst. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Ah! <laughs> we best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Got him. Why would you... It said show them. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. <laughs> anyway, get some rest. Maybe I should have said things. About today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just run. You couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. I'm going to have to do a playthrough after do the first uh, game again and then once uh, the second season. Once they're done the entire game, I'm going to have to do a walkthrough again and do things a hell of a lot differently. Because at least if I do that, then um, I can get the different perspectives that uh, are set up, like uh, saving actually saving Duck instead of letting Duck die. I think that's what happened. I can't remember if he just died or not. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. <laughs> Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. I ain't looking very good. All right, look. If we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, then we pair up with him. 
I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? No offense, but come on. That's crazy. She's a kid. Why would there's a million reasons? I got it. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. <laughs> all right, little chickens. Let's get to Becky. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling shenanigans. every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> that facial animation. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. <laughs> Shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. Okay. It's okay. Come on. Because she's the friend. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse. But Bill was just so matter of fact about it. <laughs> like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Goose to pimples. You you I thought it was goose bumps. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. Bonnie. Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine. And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. Come on, Bonnie. You'll be one of the gang. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the least of your troubles. Okay? Well, what are you waiting for? It's better to be with her than anything. Right? You should get going. Bill don't like idle hands. <laughs> what a dumbass guard. Like, they should literally have it so every guard knows exactly where every prisoner is or newcomer is because I mean come on look what just happened she just walked right by a guard no fucking care in the world the guards like whatever man y'all better hurry that shit up I hate babysitting you assholes <laughs> Luke Shh. Time. It's safe to come out. There's blood on the floor. Come on, Luke. Blood stain. That looks really old. 
is probably fine. <laughs> Luke, where is he? Probably should uh, close the door. Close the door, Clementine. Hey, you ain't supposed to be out here. The fuck did I just do? You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking what up. The fuck did I just do? You wait and see what happens. Move. Hey. The fuck did I just do? I totally just fucked it up, didn't I? I, f I fucked it up, didn't I? <sighs> I totally fucked it up. All right. Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? Oh, all right. Yeah. Did you know about this? Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we Back got. to plan B. Or plan A. Skulls. I wonder who plays his uh, Luke, voice actor. Help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. One. Two. I got, I got it right here. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. No! Oh, God! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Stop. Clementine! Help you me! You have to do this, Bill! Oh, God. No! I think I just lost Kenny. That's enough, Bill. Please. Bill, there's a breach. All right, everyone come with me. Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah, okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. <laughs> they did not see that coming, did they? They really did not see that fucking coming. They didn't even expect those words to come out of her mouth. That was fucking brilliant. I kind of half expected it, but only because... She was the one to stay there, so that's why I expected it. Dang it. Poor Kenny. We gotta kick some ass. Some serious ass. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring it. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. <laughs> Besides that, it's risky as hell. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? The, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. 
This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up, okay? We should bide our time. We should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreed to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're Fuck not that. Waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. We need to leave now. It's only gonna get worse. This is what I'm talking about. Can I see him? I don't think that's a good idea. His orbiter is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. Mm, until until he wakes I... up, he won't know if there's any damage to the brain. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave There's no Kenny. fucking way in hell I'm leaving Kenny Good. here. Cause you won't have to. That's my boy. Word up, Kenny. Word up. I'm all right. We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> tough bastards. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? Yeah. <laughs> you all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. I'm gonna stay attached to Kenny like what glue. Now? We get the hell out of here. Right now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. What the hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where <laughs> it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bothered to explain who's supposed to do that. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? I'm gonna need a boost. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Yep, I got it. I forgot. <laughs> Be careful. Okay. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Who's Alvin? Right, 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 right. I know who Alvin is. I almost forgot who Alvin was. Whew, that would have been bad of me to forget who Alvin is. Cause I was like, there's a guy missing. Now I know who it is. This is gonna be difficult for some reason. Wait, what the fuck? Alvin. Anyway, I gotta pause it there. So anyway guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Make sure you hit the big red subscribe button below this video. 
Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you think about The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 3. And as always, I am Masculinich, and I hope to see my lovely, lovely viewers in my next video. Have a good one, guys. <laughs>